Please put down. I just, I'm, I'm taking it from the scribe. You already have the nodal right. I'm not going to write out the tables. I'm just going to define them. We solve problems and then we end the class. But at one o'clock, we'll have to solve a lot of problems. Please put down. Conversion is a process of changing from one unit to another. Conversion is a process of changing from one unit to another using appropriate conversion factor. Using appropriate conversion factor. Now, yesterday, I can remember, I, I was just trying to explain the relationship between centimeters and meters. And someone now told me that, oh, from secondary school, she knew that centimeter, cent is 10 raised to the minus 2. So I took time to explain that now. So if I have, maybe, you have been asked to convert from centimeter to meters, the very first thing you should look out for is the relationship between those two units. And I told us that one centimeter is same as 0 0.01 meters, or 100 centimeter equals to 1 meter. That is what we have here. So if you are if you are to present this stuff in the conversion factor, please see the relationship. Every relationship can be expressed in two forms of a conversion factor. The first form of this guy can be written as 100 cm over 1 meters. Or 1 meters over what? 100 cm. Please, I just want us to really understand this. Now, this is a relationship. Now, another relationship that we are very conversant with is kilograms and grams. We know very well that 1,000 grams equals how many kilograms? One kilogram. Kilo is raised to the power of three. We don't ask that question yesterday, but kilo has the value of raised to the power of what? If I have one kg and I want to remove this k, I'll multiply it with the value of kilo. Are you following me? So if I multiply this guy by 3 is of 3, I have to strike out the words, the K. All right? Now, so this relationship here relates grams and kilograms. Now, I can equally put down this relationship in terms of a factor, right? Now, in conversion factor, I have to say, this is 1,000 grams, all about what? One kilogram. Is it not so? Or, one kilogram, all about what? 1,000 grams. Please, I want us to really understand how to express relationship in conversion factor, in terms of conversion factor. This is a relationship that relates grams and kilograms. Basically, it's a relationship. Now, but in, a term, in terms of conversion factor, for every 1,000 grams, we have 1 kilogram. Or for every 1 kilogram, we have 1,000 grams. All right? Now, can you express this for me in terms of... Um, Conversion factor. We know that 1,000 millimeter is sent as one meter. We also know that one inch equals to 2.5 forward. Class, can you please express this relationship for me in terms of the two conversion factor here? Express this guy for I don't don't tell me. What is sent inside your book? Please give me the conversion factor for this. Remember, a factor is more like in a fraction form. The conversion factor. This is a relationship. So I need a conversion factor for this and also need for this. Okay. So without wasting so much time, for the first one, this is a relationship. We can represent this guy as 1,000 millimeters all over what? 1 meters. Or one meter all about what? One thousand millimeters. Hope you are good with this, but yeah. now the second part we say the relationship between inch and centimeter. One inch is always equal to two point five four cm. All right. So I can express this guy as one inch all over 2.54 cm or 2.54 cm over 1 inch. Is anybody here that did not or that don't understand how we got this? OK, 
been fine. Can you tell me, um, I can remember, I gave us relationship between yards and inches. How many inches are present in one yard? 36. I even made an illustration the other day that um, I went to buy, I think, wire, and the guy was using his hand to measure. What if you're short? What if your hand is not up to 36 inches? So I, the guy actually carried it out, and I, then I used my tape to measure it, and I was getting 34. That means the guy um, measurement was short. Okay. So please put down this question. Like I said, we are, we are taking it step by step. Convert. Convert. 6.00 inches to centimeter. Convert 6.00 inches to centimeter. Convert 6.00 inches to centimeter. After this class, uh, maybe we are moving down to chapter 2. And we are going to move at a very fast pace. I told us earlier that we are going to cover this course like three times, at least three times, on persons without it. All right, I like it when people doubt, though, because they actually give me this, um, this you know, no, they give me this energy. Just like somebody saying that, don't worry, let's leave it for another day. What's the answer to this question? 15 point what? All right, please look at this. Remember, there are various ways one can carry out conversion, but I'm just so much, I'm so much interested in teaching us a systematic way. Just like when I treated balancing of chemical equation, there are various ways you can balance chemical equation. As a matter of fact, you can use inspection. But then inspection has some limitations. Same way like the manipulative method. The manipulative method can, can be solution, a succor. Now, you're asked to go from inches to centimeter. The first question that should come to your mind is that, is there a direct relationship between inches and centimeter? Yes. And what is the direct relationship? One inch is always equal to what? Now, I want to show us a manipulative method or kind of the method you guys made use of in secondary school. Now, if one inch is equal to this, you now say, so therefore 6.00 inches equals to what? X. Now, first you cross multiply, this becomes one inch times what? X equals to? Six inches times two point what? Five four cm. Now make x subject of the formula. This simply means dividing both sides by one inch, because the sole purpose of making a value subject of the formula is to make that guy to stand alone, right? So in order for this guy to stand alone, I have to divide both sides by one inch. So when I do that, then I have my x equals to six point zero inches times two point what? 54 cm. Over what? You know the importance of this. Most time when I teach conversion factor, I told them, I will, I will keep telling us that the application of this guy does not stop only in chemistry. It does not stop only in chapter one. You make use of it in physics. You make use of it in especially what I'm teaching you guys now. You enjoy the more in what? In physics. All right. So what's the answer here? Fifteen point what? 2, 4, yeah. CN. All right. I'm now going to use a conversion method from pattern. This is more like the one you made use of in secondary school. Right? Make X object and so on. But if I don't want to make use of this, I want to use a normal conversion pattern. Now, it's actually very simple. Can I clean this? Yes. Can I clean? Yes. Please copy first. Tomorrow is Sunday. Please, on Monday. Monday is going to be very, very corrosive. Like, trust me, if you're coming to school on Monday, try and come with food because we're we'll starting by 10 and then we're we'll ending by 5. Yes, so we're doing two practicals on Monday. Just practicals alone. Please, I've sent in um, these particular practicals. I did not want to send it since to avoid um, um, piracy. I sent in a material on the group chat that has the calculation pattern. All right, so just. Check through the group. For those persons that have been joining recently, I will actually resend that stuff. Now, if you look at it, I actually explain each of those procedures step by step, and then your worksheet, how you're going to report your worksheet to make it very neat and clean. All of them is I actually stopped at number five. 
number six, seven, and eight. I will actually send in the solution this night. Okay, so please make sure you do that. At least when you go to lab, because your practical will start on Tuesday. Is anybody here that will be doing practical on Tuesday? Chemistry. Do you know when, which department? Please, the same way your lecture has timetable, practical has timetable. You should know the date for your department. If you miss the date for your department, you've missed it for that week. Nothing can be done. So you can be telling your course share. In fact, you don't even need to tell your course share. Maybe after today's class, just everybody, the crowd will be much. You can climb upstairs or on Monday. Kemishi, you know Kemishi Laba? Yes. On each of the door posts, the door link there, it's pasted there. Please make sure you know the date of your. Alright, let's use conversion factor to solve this guy. Please look up. Anytime you're using conversion factor, it simply says, put down the value that is given to you first. The given values, jot it down first. Class, what is the given value here? I come here, I put 6.00 inches. Now, I have to put a multiplication sign here, right? And I'll draw a line. Class, I'm moving from inches to what? I put centimeter up. Where am I moving to centimeter? Inches, right? I'm moving from inches to what? So I have to put inches what? Now, the purpose of putting inch down is so that this guy can do what? Answer this guy. Now, you now ask yourself, what is the relationship between cm and inches? I already gave out the relationship, right? That 2.154 cm is present in how many inches? One. This, strike out this, what is the answer class? So this and the, this guy and the first one, which one do you prefer? How many of us prefer the first guy? Well, it's fine. Whichever one you prefer, but don't worry. Very soon, you're actually going to um, abandon that first one. I can, I can assure you of that. <coughs> now, let's look at this. What if in a case whereby you're asked to carry out conversion whereby the conversion factor given to you is not a direct um, conversion. Let's take that list. Can I clean this? Yes. Don't worry, we're taking it step by step. Today, at least you must understand conversion to some extent. Now, convert, I can still remember, I'm going to give us the example I gave to Rose on Thursday. Convert 8.00 cm meter row to inches. Take one inch to be equal to 2.54 cm, and then take one um, one meter to be equal to 100 centimeter. Now, most of the times, they will always give you this conversion below or beneath the question. Now, most if they don't give you beneath the question, please always endeavor to check out the, the top page of your question paper. But most of the times. The question paper will always have all the formulas, all the constants on the top page. Now, the molar mass of each of the atoms that you need will be given on the top page. So if you actually skip the top page, my, my think that the value was not given. Class, based on the conversion factors, or based on the relationship I've given to us now, there is no direct relationship from meters to what? Inches. There is no direct relationship. Do you understand? In this case, now they gave us two relationships. Can you see this? Yes. There is no direct relationship from meters to inches. So that means, but I know very well that from meter, I can get to what? Centimeter. Centimeter. I know that. Note, so far, there is no direct formula from meters. To centimeter. Is it not so? Yes. But I can move from I can move from meters to what? Okay, from meters to inches. Plus, since there is no known relationship between centimeters and inches, I can move from meters to what? Centimeter. From centimeters to what? Inches. Now, how do we do that? It's actually a two-step process. I will solve it two different methods. I will solve the first one and then proceed to the inches. Then I'm going to solve all of them directly. Are you set? Yes. 
I want to clean this. Please, jot this down. Because most of the time, they'll give you questions like this in exams. And there is no direct relationship to move from the given value to the desired value. But then there is an intermediate point where you can stop and then proceed. So here now, they gave us two relationships. And to make use of these two relationships to move from meters to inches. So how, can I clean this now? Please, once it's, um, once it's 10 text, let me know. Okay? What's the time now? For those of us that stayed in school, did they bring light yesterday night? Yes. What time did they take the light? Yes. No. But how come my room in the house said we didn't have light yesterday? Because in Mandela, I think block D room, two or three or five, we didn't have light. My phone was switched off. See? All right, please come. Of course, I know some of you guys are saying Mandela. Have you not been seeing me Mandela? I say Mandela now. Please block this thing. Uh, you see? You could your offer from one big boy, rich kid. All right. Um, please go. First, convert 8.00 meters to centimeter. Now look at this. Now, should I use a conversion method or should I use a normal manipulative method? Which of them? <laughs> now, remember in conversion, you must always put down the given value. Do you know so? What is the given value here? 8.00 meters times. Where am I going to? Centimeter will be what? Oh, meters will be down because I'm coming from this to this. Do you know so? What is the relationship between meter and centimeter? 100 cm is the same thing as how many meters? One. One. So that this takes this, you know so? That means 8.00 meters is the same thing as 800 what? Centimeters. But I was not asked to stop at what? Centimeter. I was asked to stop at what? Inches. So I can now take up this guy and proceed to inches. I don't know if you get. So I'll now say second. Convert. 800 centimeters to inches. In this case now, the value we have now is 800 cm, is it not so? Yes. So now put down 800, 800 cm. You draw a multiplication sign, class. You put a line here. Where am I going to? From cm to what now? Inches. inches. This becomes inch. CN. 